Hey YouTube, it's Jeremy the One Wildcrafter, and I hope that you, like me, are getting excited about the spring camping, canoeing, hiking season. Uh, right now where I am, the sun is shining, the snow is melting, and the maple sap is flowing in the maple trees, and it's only a matter of weeks before we get to that critical time of year where it's uh, <clears throat> dry enough to camp, but um, cool enough that the bugs haven't started uh, too badly yet. So what I've got here is a selection of food that I bought, uh, which is one week's worth of camping or hiking meals. I had a couple of ground rules when I put this together. So uh, I wanted some diversity, uh, high caloric intake. I wanted to reduce as much as possible the amount of uh, water weight. So most of this stuff is just add water or it's um, ready to go as is. I want to keep it under two pounds a day, which is a standard weight target for hikers uh, carrying food. And I wanted to keep it under 100 Canadian dollars. And I think that I've hit all those targets. So uh, the, the way this video came about is that a friend of mine who has a beautiful property where we um, camp, he wants to go in there and spend a week doing some work on the land, a little bit of building, a little bit of clearing, some trail maintenance and things like that. And he was asking, I hope tongue in cheek, about the feasibility of just packing in ramen noodles because they're so light and um, living on that for a week, which I thought was a terrible idea. And I, so Mike, this is for you. I wanna give you some options to think about. Um, so that, you know, right off the bat, uh, a pound of fat contains about 3,500 calories uh, or maybe a little bit more. And you can't really get denser calories than that. So, you know, right away, you can't uh, have less than a pound of food a day if you're going to be active. Um, and you know, in those circumstances, you're gonna to wanna to eat something other than just uh, ramen noodles every day. Although I did include them uh, in this one week of food. So I'm gonna run through this with you, uh, give you a couple of tips for reducing the weight. I've got seven breakfasts, uh, seven lunches, and seven suppers, as well as a few accessory items. So here we go. So I just should also note right off the hop uh, that these foods are not going to be suitable for all diets. Uh, so there's a real broad range of foods here. You would have to supplement or change things around if you're vegetarian, gluten-free, uh, or if you have other eating restrictions. So uh, this is just very general. Hopefully it appeals to a lot of people. And if you have an eating restriction, you can just modify it as needed. Okay, so here's an overview of my meal plan. Um, I just have one blank spot for supper, so that could be maybe like on your seventh day if you're leaving and you don't need a supper that day. You could uh, double up on one of the other supper plans. Um, I kind of left that one as a blank because uh, for Mike in particular, I thought that he might like to bring in an MRE or that he might be fond of, uh, and I've had these before too, like the Backpackers Pantry or other freeze-dried um, prepared meals so i didn't buy one of those because i don't typically use them uh, but you can just fill in that supper with one of those prepared meals so for breakfast uh, i kept it pretty light but also um fairly substantial so uh here's 900 uh grams this is two pounds of pancake batter one box is six and a half cups of pancakes. One cup of mix will make about five to six pancakes and that's about 520 calories per cup. Um, so in my scheme, I've got pancake breakfast uh, three days of the week. And uh, so that means I would use up three cups. And then I was also holding back on one cup of batter to maybe mix with chili, which is one of the suppers later on, and pancake batter or flour makes a really good um, thickener for the chili, especially if you had too much water initially. So um, it's a two pound box, but figuring out that I could por portion this out into baggies, um, and then I don't have to carry the extra weight of uh, pancake batter that I might not use. Um, and also it's if it's in resealable bags, if I wasn't doing that, I would just put this whole box into a Ziploc container and then um, it can't really spill. Okay, so I've got pancakes. I also have 
uh, two packs of this Ready Crisp bacon, which contains about 10 to 12 slices. So in my meal pan plans, I imagined that there were 12 slices and I've portioned this out into um, four slices to go with each of the breakfasts. So there's enough there for two breakfasts. And I have a second one of these, um, which is to go with the other breakfast and then a couple of the other lunches and suppers. So these are very light. They're only 65 grams. They've basically got all the water cooked out of them, but they are high and fat and protein. And from three slices, you're getting 90 calories. Okay, so there's a good calorie boost there. Um, I like to have uh, instant oatmeal for my breakfasts a lot of the time because they're super convenient. You can even save more money and just bring instant oats and you know pack your own dried fruits. But I'm really fond of these packets. Uh, they don't really weigh anything extra, but they're conveniently ready to go. Um, either way, this is a very, very cheap breakfast and oatmeal is one of your longest burning carbs, apparently, um, for uh, long lasting energy through the day. So I've got oatmeal uh, filling in for my other three breakfasts. And to go with that, you could bring your hot drink of choice. Uh, I'm not endorsing any of these products. This is just all stuff that I got at the grocery store. Um, but I quite like these instant cappuccinos because they are high in calories, 90 calories per uh, little packet. And they're light to carry and they've already got basically like creamer and sweetener in them. If you wanted to bring your own coffee, coffee press, uh, instant coffee, and you wanted some creamer, um, my go-to is to just get a can of evaporated milk um, because I find it doesn't go off very easily. So probably I could open this and then use it for a week. Um, what I might do the, did the day before I go though is to open this up and then pour it into a resealable container, which is probably also going to be lighter than this metal tin. Okay, so there's all of our breakfasts. Okay, let's... um pop up the list again and go through our lunches. Again, this is just the order that I put them in, but you could choose to adjust the order and mix them up from day to day to day. And so let's start with my uh, day one lunch. So I have uh, peanut butter and jam wraps. And you'll notice um, through my meal plan that I've got wraps coming up in a couple of other spots. So when you buy a package of wraps, there are usually six in a pack. There could be more or less depending on the kind that you buy. Um, so my meal plan is based on just one pack of wraps. Uh, each wrap has 200 calories and they're super versatile. Uh, I have peanut butter and jam wraps on my first day because that's a very quick and easy lunch to set up when you're still getting your camp uh, ready, perhaps. And um, I would package these down into smaller containers based on the amount that I would want to have in my wraps. Um, and because it's peanut butter and jam, you know, you could make up two wraps in advance and have them prepackaged in a bag. And then you don't even have to bring in any peanut butter and jam. Uh, peanut butter and jam doesn't show up in the rest of my meal plan. So again, only pack as much as I would use. And then uh, it's that weight is gone on the very first day. Lunch number two, I have bacon and eggs. Yes, you can have breakfasts for lunch. Um, I didn't mention it already, but uh, a lot of these meals I also kind of planned around being able to cook them in a single pan or uh, in a pot, uh, a pot pan combo. So limited or uh, as little cookware as possible. So eggs, I love to bring eggs camping. I find they're super versatile. Um, they pack really well. They're surprising. I mean, people always talk about things being as fragile as eggs, but they're actually quite tough. You can buy plastic uh, egg containers that make it even easier to carry eggs without breaking them. Um, but I've carried them just in like regular cardboard cartons and not had an issue. So um, I would bring eggs. If we look at my meal plan, eggs come up a couple of times. So I just make sure that I pack the number of eggs that I want to have for 
uh, my meals. And in this case, I'm having a lunch of bacon and eggs together. Two of my lunch meals are some crackers and summer sausage, cheese, and tinned oysters. So these are all like super easy to throw a lunch together. I chose these crackers because they looked really robust and they're in a resealable package. Um, they were pretty high in calories, sort of 130 calories for every 10 crackers. Um, but most of the calories are gonna be in these cheeses, um, the summer sausage, and the tinned oysters. So lots of good fat protein calories in these. Um, good, good cheese uh, with a low moisture content can last easily for a week on a camping trip without being sweaty. This is not like packing uh, mild cheddar cheese around where it gets all sweaty. Um, so you're gonna pay a little more for this kind of cheese. Uh, this is a, a Beamster cheese that I quite like uh, that I got at my grocer. And this one is a waxed Gouda. So another one that um, travels really well. Summer sausage, slice off as much as you need. It's not gonna go bad on a camping trip. And you can kind of pre-portion it out uh, to last through. I've got it in several meals. So it shows up in the first lunch, uh, but then it comes up a little bit later on. Uh, on my sixth day, I have a three egg omelet, three egg omelet fajitas. So maybe throw a little bit of leftover cheese in there. Uh, I'm using two of my wraps for these fajitas, three of my eggs. Maybe I want to bring a pepper with me. Um, if I'm really trying to keep things light, maybe I'm going to pre-slice this pepper and take the core out. So it'll be down to maybe uh, four fifths of the weight or three quarters of the weight. Um, get a little bit of vegetables and fiber in with my uh, omelet fajitas. I'm going to cut up a little bit of sausage to go in those fajitas. I could cook it or just have it uncooked. Um, and there's another lunch. Oh, I forgot to talk about the maple syrup. This is like a Canadian staple. Um, you know, I might bring this much maple syrup on a camping trip, but probably you won't. Uh, so again, um, with my pancakes, I would love to have maple syrup. I might add it to my chili. Uh, I might add it in my coffee. I do add it in my coffee. So I'm going to estimate how much maple syrup I need, and then I'm going to uh, package this down into something smaller and lighter. Okay, Mike, you'll be happy to know that I was able to work in some ramen noodles for you uh, by being inspired by a recipe on the Backpacking Chef or the Backpacker Chef, uh, backpackerchef.com. So he's got a recipe called Cheese O Rama, and it calls for half a cup of ramen noodles, but not the flavor package, um, some chili flakes. So I could bring some chili flakes for this recipe, but they could also go into my chili or maybe with my eggs or my egg wraps, right? So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these chilies if you like chilies. I'm gonna chop up some of that summer sausage, which is right here. And uh, this recipe also calls for, not craft dinner, but it calls for a cheese packet. So you mix a cheese packet in with your noodles and your summer sausage. So you've got an awesome meal with some added protein and cheese, so all those good calories, and um, and the cheese flavor. Mm. Uh, so that's the cheese arama and I haven't had it yet, but it sounds really, really good. So there's all the lunches. Supper number one is chicken noodle soup, and um, you could just bring dried bouillon cubes and then filter water to for your soup. Um, in this case, I, I picked up one of these little concentrated containers of uh, soup broth, so it's not too, too heavy. It makes four cups of soup. Um, you can buy dehydrated vegetables at bulk food stores and in some grocery stores. This is a very, very easy way to carry extra vegetables. Uh, I could use them in my chicken noodle soup, and then later, uh, a couple nights from now, um, maybe I'll have some of these in mixed with my chili. Okay, so I got my vegetables, got
got my broth. Maybe I'm even going to have, instead of chicken noodle soup, it'll be summer sausage soup. Like if I have leftover summer sausage, uh, some of that could get cut up and put in the soup. And then I'm going to just pack some of these um, rice noodles. So they're super light. You can chop them up smaller if you want. Throw those in and get a bunch of your carb energy. Chicken noodle soup. Okay, this is something that I haven't really tried before, but it would be super easy to do. Um, so canned beef, I got these on sale for half price, $2 a tin, and that's pretty much unbeatable. Uh, they come with their own tin opener, they're very easy to use, and um, going along with the one pot meal idea, uh, all I need to add is some water with my corned beef, uh, maybe some onion, and some carrots and some potatoes. So I could just carry in a potato. I could dehydrate some carrots. Uh, I could just use these vegetables and put them in with my stew and let it all soak before I cook it. Uh, onions, I could bring in a real onion or I could just bring a little package of these pre-fried onions, which are a super easy way to add onions to a meal. Maybe I wanna bring some of these for my chicken noodle soup and some of these for my beef stew and some of these for my chili. Uh, so they're really, really versatile. Um, if you like onions with your bacon and eggs, uh, there are some onions. If you want onions in your fajita wraps that we're gonna talk about, or we already talked about, you know, they can go in there. So again, these are super light uh, and they are, because they're fried, they actually have a lot of calories from fat. Very helpful. The chili supper. Okay, this is not the lightest way to do it, but the easiest way to do it would be to just grab as many tins of this as you want to eat in one supper. Uh, there are 400 calories per can, and we're gonna bulk that up. So I'm gonna add, my plan is one can of chili to keep the weight down, add water, add corn. This is just frozen corn that I dehydrated on my wood stove um, so you can do this very easily at home, uh, even over like a heat register or uh, in the sun. So it takes a lot of the weight out of your corn. So I'm going to add not this much corn, um, but I'm going to bring a portion of this. I can bring some dried beans. Maybe I'll start soaking them a day in advance or the morning of, so they're all ready to cook by the time I'm ready to do my chili. And um, I've used these before. These are dried peas, marrow peas, marrow fats. And um, these are really tasty if you like peas. And surprisingly, there are over 700 calories of peas in this box. So if you like peas in your chili, boom, there you go. Or maybe you want to use half of these peas in your chili, half of them in your chicken noodle soup, which might be summer sausage, sausage soup or whatever. So these are really versatile. Um, again, you can just buy frozen peas and dehydrate them uh, and then you're all set. But honestly, these were like uh, less than $2, super convenient. They got the instructions on the box. Um, I've cooked these before and they're good. Okay, the fifth meal is the one I left blank. Fill that in with uh, some kind of a freeze dried meal or if you want to do cheaper, duplicate one of these suppers or come up with something else. Uh, but on day number six, uh, this is super simple, prepackaged curry and a cup of rice. So what's a cup of rice got? Over 400 calories, I think. And then in here, we've got 350 calories. Um, so we're getting close to a thousand calories there. Uh, you might want to fill in with some, some other things. Uh, you could add a few more wraps to your menu and then you could have uh, curry and rice wraps just a way to keep things tidy and add more calories. Very, very easy to do, very inexpensive. On this one, this is one that I haven't tried before and I can't wait to try it out. Uh, so this is basically the Backpackers Thanksgiving. Um, and I can't remember where I came across this, uh, but I was definitely inspired to try it out. So what you are doing here is you are getting some uh, one package of the, or actually in this recipe, they only call for half a package, but um, 
I'm a pretty big eater, so I'm gonna go one package of instant mashed potatoes, one package of uh, instant um, turkey stuffing, and then I might add in some of my, the last of my summer sausage. So there should be enough summer sausage here to get us through all the meals that I've planned. Um, and then some kind of dried fruit. So those could be dried cranberries or what I have on hand are dried currants. Uh, I wouldn't bring this many dried currants, uh, but a, a portion of these mixed in with all this. And there you have a nice, heavy, calorie rich supper. Um, so that kind of covers off all the main meals. And then we're gonna fill in with some snacks and some other accessories. Okay, so some of the uh, extras and accessories. You can put all this together, weigh it out, um, and then decide if you want to fill in until you hit two pounds per day, or maybe you just want to have lots of great snacks and accessories, so you're just going to go a little bit over. Um, one, easy, easy way to add more calories uh, to your meals is to bring some olive oil and then just add a little bit to everything. Uh, personally, I would probably use um, butter or maybe even um, lard or bacon grease. Uh, you're going to need some fat anyway to grease the pan when you're cooking. Um, so again, you don't want to bring a glass bottle with a liter of olive oil, um, but you probably want to bring a fair portion uh, or half a pound of butter or whatever it is that you want to use uh, and then try and reduce the weight of it um, based on the packaging. Bring some spices. So you saw that I had chili flakes that fit with a bunch of different meals. You might also want to bring salt and pepper, obviously not in a shaker. This is just symbolic. Uh, there are lots of great little um, film canister salt and pepper shakers uh, that you can use or just have them in little bags or you can save the little packets from takeout food. Um, you might want to bring some made in Ontario hot sauce. Hashtag pepper north. I think Mike's pretty familiar with these brands. Hey Mike. So. Maybe bring your favorite hot sauce, goes with the uh, chili, goes with the fajitas, goes with the uh, bacon and eggs, kind of goes with everything. Um, so you got that going on. And wow, well, snacks. So um, if you're getting hungry uh, or you want to pack some extra calories, nuts are a really great way to get um, protein and fats and uh, they're very high, high calorie. So that's a great way to boost your calorie count. Um, you can bring snacks so this is just like a party mix of doritos and cheetos and things you can see that it's already been had at part way uh, but these are pretty light to pack uh, they can get a little bit crushed uh, you bring chocolate bars you can bring drink mixes uh, granola bars loose granola trail mix all that kind of stuff um, in addition to your main meals that you've planned uh, I like to use these little pots. Uh, they just have a screw lid. They're not super handy for liquids, but for dry goods, they work well. You can kind of stack them all together. They don't take up too much space, so that's good. And uh, if you like, you can bring some dried fruits or you might want to bring some whole fruits or an avocado uh, or, or things like that. They're very, very heavy. Dried fruits would be the way to go. Dried banana chips are, are great for camping. Uh, dried apple slices, dried cranberries, those things that you put in your um, trail mix. So that's just a way to add a little more diversity. Uh, keep your diet interesting, but also fuel you with the calories that you need for whatever it is that you're doing outdoors. All right, that's uh, seven days of food uh, under 14 pounds, depending on how many snacks you add after and how efficiently you can reduce the weight of um, some of the things, some of the ways they're packaged and uh, under $100 Canadian. Again, depending on how you fill in uh, some of the meals and whether you can get stuff on sale or not, uh, but very easy to package, very easy to carry. Um, I like to keep a uh, dry bag, separate, a separate dry bag for all my food. Um, I know Mike's gonna build a nice uh, kitchen strong box to keep things in. Um, I was on the Princess Auto website and uh, I saw a really great 100 liter tote. So my plan was um, 
to uh, to get this tote and use it as a kitchen box. Uh, at at this particular property, it would be ideal for protecting kitchen things from uh, animals and the elements. Um, so I've got that box on order. I'll pop that up here. I'll show you. It's it's cool. It even has um has a space where you can put wheels on it. So we, uh, we're imagining that we might be able to put an axle, thread an axle through the bottom of the box and put bicycle tires on and and use it as a wheelbarrow basically out there or make it real easy to push to, through the trail because it's um it's like a hiking trail to get into this property. Uh, so it's, it's going to be versatile, I think. So um, there you have it. Uh, I... Was always I'm always surprised when you go to the grocery store, uh, all the like prepackaged stuff that's uh, dried or already pre-cooked, easy to heat up. Um, it's just depending on how much weight you want to carry. Again, if you're car camping or something like that, it's less of a concern. If you're hiking or canoeing, uh, cycling, then you're going to want to manage your weight a little more effectively. So. Always interested to hear your comments below. Uh, if you've got a favorite camp food that uh, hits those criteria that, you know, it's light, it's tasty, it's got a lot of calories, it's inexpensive, easy to cook. Love to hear them, because uh, I'm hoping to do a lot of camping this summer. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm often out uh, eating wild foods and staples, but um, definitely interested in a few more trips where I uh, just eat some regular-ish food. Cool. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you guys on the next one.